Can you tell me what time is exactly the closing time for uh, suhoor? Well, the ayah in this respect, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمُ الْخَيْطُ الْأَبْيَضُ مِنَ الْخَيْطِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ This is the beginning of fasting. Then it goes on to say, ثُمَّ أَتِمُّ الصِّيَامَ إِلَى اللَّيْلِ and continue fasting until it is the nightfall, which is sunset. So dawn is the beginning of fasting. Sunset is the beginning of breaking the fast. And the beginning of fasting, as the ayah says, they didn't have time, they didn't have timetable, they didn't have this advanced technology to let them know that 5.35 exactly is Fajr, or 4.46. So they used to find this out through recognizing the darkness of the night versus the light of the day. حتى تبين لكم الخيط الأبيض من الخيط الأسود من الفجر. So by making sure that the white thread of the day is distinct from the black of the the blackness of the night. In this case, it is dawn. When this happens, the person is not allowed to take a sip of water or to continue a bite that is already in his mouth. This is a common mistake that people do. So when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to uh, the companions that Bilal used to call the first Adhan for Fajr, which is approximately 15 minutes before uh, the actual Adhan for Fajr, which upon hearing this Adhan, you find out it is dawn already, 10 to 15 minutes. So the Prophet ﷺ said, when you hear the adhan of Bilal, you shouldn't uh, stop eating and drinking. I mean, if you want to eat and drink, you may, because he still, he calls adhan still at night as an alarm, that in a few minutes, the companions measured the time, uh, you know, between this and that, one would finish the adhan and would come down and the second will climb on top of the masjid to call the adhan. So in this case, the 10-15 minutes, the person is still allowed to eat and drink. In most countries, there are no two adhans for fajr. There is only one adhan, the true fajr. So when you hear the mu'adhan says, Allahu Akbar, even if the water is in your mouth, you got to spit it out. Even if there is a bite in your mouth, you got to spit it out. Because once he says Allahu Akbar, it has become clearly obvious that it is dawn already. What about the hadith in which the Prophet says, if you hear the adhan while you have a cup of water, do not put it down before you drink as much as you want. This is pertaining to the first adhan, not the second one. The second one, the ayah is very clear. There is no ishtihad with the ayah. The reference is in the ayah. حتى يتبين لكم الخيط الأبيض من الخيط الأسود من الفجر حتى in Arabic غائية which means until and once that happens, that's 